A decisive vote today by nurses at Corwell Health's Southeast facilities in favor of unionizing. About 63% of registered nurses at Corwell's eight hospitals supported unionization. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Ty Steele. And for Devin tonight, the vote now allows nurses to bargain over wages, benefits, and staffing ratios. Erica Erickson is getting reaction tonight from both sides. It's one of the largest union elections in 20 years, and nurses are celebrating. Chants and cheers inside Nemo's in Detroit's Corktown neighborhood Friday night. A historic outcome, nearly 10,000 nurses across Southeast Michigan voting to unionize. It goes much larger beyond our hospital system. Um, I think it really is going to set a precedent for nurses across the state and across the country that if we can do this, that everyone else can. Nurses voting roughly 5,000 to 3,000 to join more than 57,000 other Teamsters. We knew we needed an organization that had the grit and the backbone and the resolve to stand up to a corporation like Corwell Health. These nurses stressing the need for improved working conditions, fair wages, better health care and retirement benefits, along with appropriate staffing for them and for their patients. They say unionizing gives them a voice at the table. We're going to have one collective voice, almost 10,000 nurses strong, and that really is going to give us some power to make some demands. <laughs> While the Teamsters general president, Sean O'Brien, called Corwell's campaign, quote, the most expensive and aggressive union busting they'd ever seen, Corwell saying in a statement to Local 4, in part, quote, we value all our nurses and are committed to moving forward together, united by our mission to provide high quality care to our patients and the communities we serve. That is what these nurses are saying must come first, always. We want to make sure that we can do the best for our patients, and we want to be able to do that with nursing staff and ancillary staff that allows us to do it. In Corktown, Erica Erickson, Local 4. Uh, well, parties have five days to file objections to that election. If no objections are filed, the results will be certified.